Would you trust your cat harness enough to leave your cat attached to a pole? You probably wouldn't because cats are escape artists and no harness is safe enough. I have here the Outdoor Bengal Cat Harness to show you why I believe this is the best harness out there. It will take me about an hour to film and edit the video that you are watching and on the meantime to prove you how much I trust this harness, me it's going to be outside attached to a pole unsupervised. She's wearing the Outdoor Bengal Cat Harness and I've placed a GoPro strategically to film everything that she's doing while I'm filming this video. This is just for illustration purposes only. We have a very safe backyard where in the Pyrenees there are almost no predators. It's very safe for me to be outside. Please do not do the same. This is not a recommendation to leave your cat outside unattended attached to a pole. This is a review for the Outdoor Bengal Cat Harness, one of the two products that we're launching in the season 2022 for Adventure Cats. It is a harness that has been designed by cat parents exclusively for Adventure Cats. It's lightweight and flexible, adjustable, and designed to be escape proof. More on these later in this video. The harness is available on Amazon, as well as on our website, www outdoorbengal.com. The unboxing is pretty minimal. You will receive a cardboard box with some instructions in the back. You open it up and there are two little bags, one with a harness and one with a leash. The leash is a light six feet long leash with an anti-twist carabiner in one end and the loop in the other end. The harness is a little disruptive compared to what we are used to seeing in the market. The chest pad is fairly small and thin, made from neoprene. The cat harness comes with its side bands and the cord stoppers stretch all the way out for easy fitting. Once the harness is on the cat, we are going to have to adjust it to their size for a snug fit. My cat Mia has been out for about 20 minutes now and the harness seems to be holding just fine. The harness, it's light on our hand and all cords and pads are minimal, which makes it feel very adaptable to the cat's movements. The chest pad has three rings that will allow free movement to the straps that go around the neck and around the body. At the top of the harness, there's the escape proof system. Cats escape from harnesses by pulling backward. What this system does, it's close the headspace when the cat pulls back, making it narrower as the cat pulls and releasing as the cat stops pulling back. When the cat walks normally, the system is not triggered and all the pressure is applied through the chest pad, protecting the cat's neck. There are five things to look for on a cat harness. Hard to escape from. We walk our cats on a leash to keep them restrained. Training a cat to be comfortable wearing a harness is key, even more so than a harness that it's hard to escape from. But a harness that I can trust is the number one thing I look for in a harness for my cat. Number two, it's safety. We want a harness that it's going to be gentle with our cat. Harnesses that are entirely made out of string can be a little harsh on our cat's neck, particularly on small kittens. Number three, a harness should be easy to be put on and off. On cats that are not used to wearing a harness, we want to minimize the stress produced when putting the harness on them. A harness that is easy to be put on it's going to make habituation a lot easier. Four, it's comfort. We walk our cats to enriching their lives. A harness should not be limiting their ability to thrive outdoors. And finally, durability. We should look for a harness that's going to stay with our cats for a while because once they get used to it, it's a lot easier to get them enjoy outdoors. We want a harness that it's going to be able to take wear and tear as well as adjust as our cat grows. This harness has been designed to deliver against these five attributes. It's hard to escape from, comfortable for the cat, easy to put on and off, safe for their necks, and made out of nylon so it's very durable. To put the harness on your cat, ask your cat to sit and stay. If your cat doesn't know how to sit and stay, you can secure the cat by squishing them with your elbow so your hands stay free. Place the harness through the head first. Tighten the cord stopper so that the chest pad hangs around the chest area, below the neck. Finally, buckle the side straps. After the harness is on, try placing two fingers between the neck loop and your cat. If there's more space than that, tighten up the cord stopper. Repeat the process with the side straps. Place two fingers between the straps and the cat. If more than two fingers fit, tighten up the buckles on the side until you can fit two fingers, but no more than that. What happens if your cat plops on the floor? If your cat plops on the floor, means that your cat is not very comfortable wearing the harness. Loosen the side straps and use play and foot to help your cat forget that they're wearing a harness. In this particular case, it's more important than ever to keep the session short and sweet. After the session, try placing the harness in areas where your cat hangs out so that they can impregnate the harness with their pheromones. Going outdoors should not be done until your cat is very comfortable wearing the harness. This harness has been designed to be escape-proof, but no harness is 100% escape-free. I really recommend 
doing a proper harness acclimatation, particularly if your cat has never been outdoors on a leash before. If you don't know where to start, take a look at this video here, where I explain you in three very simple steps how to walk your cat on a leash. And if you'd like to try the outdoor Bengal cat harness on your cat, buy yours here.